Russia's military aggression. We're joined by Andrian Kandu. He is the Speaker of Parliament for the Republic of Moldova. Thank you for being with us. The uh, Russia's President Vladimir Putin, speaking uh, at the G20, has threatened to continue the war in Ukraine until the government is changed, as we've been discussing. This follows Russia's seizing of Ukrainian ships and, and sailors in the Kirk Strait after what it contends was an intentional clash. Moldova is a country that was part of the former Soviet Union and now shares a border with Ukraine. So what is your perspective on this escalation of tensions? Well, definitely. The, thank you very much and good evening. Um, indeed, Russia is escalating the situation in the region. And it's not only about Ukraine itself, because Moldova is just also, as Ukraine is at the front line of, uh, of Russian interferences, and also, this is uh, becoming more dangerous uh, due to the el upcoming elections in Ukraine and in Moldova. Because in Moldova, there will be elections, parliamentary elections in February. Right. So we already feel the interferences uh, and the support for the pro-Russian parties to win the elections and to, and to get the, the government. And of course, uh, by, by interfering in Moldova political affairs, or in Ukraine, then is to get the control over these countries and actually is to restore the Soviet Union because it seems to be that this is the plan. Okay, let's focus on these uh, elections, the parliamentary elections in Moldova that you just touched on. As you say, February 24th is when they're scheduled to be held and it's understood, as you yes. say, that uh, the Russians are favoring the pro-Russian uh, President Igor Dodon's socialists to win the election against the incumbent coalition. When we say that there's risk of interference, what form would that take? What could that be? Well, there are different forms of interference. I would say those hybrid tools that we call them, it is about the, the financing support, financial support, which is done through the special purpose vehicles using even the NGOs and the civil society on one side. Second is about the mass media, everything which means disinformation and propaganda. Third is about the energy, because Moldova is still a country dependent 100% from the Russian gas, as well as the electricity. And definitely this is not a business, it's about the power and it's about the political tools. Fourth, I would say, it's also the, the, the territories which are unfortunately not controlled by the central government, like in our case, Transnistria, where we, it's an occupied territory and we have military presence, military troops, Russian military troops are there. So uh, uh, there are different means, as well as the, the, the cyber, uh, cyber security. We have almost every day hackers attacks on the, our systems, government system, parliament system. During the elections, like hundreds of thousands of, uh, of attempts. So all these are used by, by Russia's interference or attempts to interfere in the Moldovan affairs. All the same can be also for, for uh, Ukraine or for Georgia. Right. And definitely, we need to mobilize all the all the forces as well as to work with our neighbors uh, to find the solutions. When you say mobilize forces, and when you look at what could be the big picture agenda of President Putin, what kind of response do you think should be coming from NATO and the United States to all of these aggressive actions? Well, definitely, it's to be engaged. That's the most important. It's irrespective of some political uh, movements and uh, domestic affairs in Ukraine or satisfactions for the reforms or better results or delays in some of the reforms, definitely the United States should stay engaged in the region because it seems to be that the Cold uh, War is not over and it's uh, really dangerous to lose countries like Ukraine or Moldova. And when speaking about the support, we can start with um, uh, energy infrastructure, we can start with uh, um, uh, finding solutions for the cyber uh, security, also working with uh, US agencies in this respect, also in terms of intelligence, and uh, why not, why not to look for better uh, uh, shape of the army and defense and security. I'm not talking only about mm -hmm. uh, military defense, but generally the models uh, which can be used. Right. And when speaking about the mo right. mobilizing in the region, it's also for us okay. to work with Ukraine and Georgia. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Andrew and Kondo will be right back. Thank you.